How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse and this is mostly just going to be an audio video if that makes a whole lot of sense. Not a whole lot to look at in this video, just basically me talking for a few minutes. I did lay out some very nice full arts that I got in the mail very recently. Two Gallade, two Manectric, and two Hydreigon. All Japanese, all beautiful. I really haven't checked them for condition yet, although I think they're at least excellent condition, probably near mint or better. So don't ask to purchase them yet. That's for a full art sale video. That's in the future, not the point of this video. You can tell what the point of this video is by the title of the video. This is about my X and Y8 EX predictions. And I want to offer my thoughts on not only what cards I think are going to appear in Blue Shock and Red Flash, but also how the set lists are going to play out. Now, I want to do this video now because if Bandit Ring is any indication, we're going to start to get a very consistent, steady trickle of information about cards that are available in X and Y8. When Bandit Ring actually came out, we knew basically the whole set list for EX cards. I think Giratina was the last one to be revealed, and everybody knew most of the cards before then, which I think kind of ruins it a little bit. And if you're making EX prediction videos several weeks from now, you might have a lot more information. So I just wanted to have a pure predictions video based on the little amount of information we have so far. Now there's two key pieces of information that I want to reference before I talk about what cards I think are going to be available in Blue Shock and Red Flash. The first piece of information is something we've known for a while, and that's that Mega Mewtwo X and Mega Mewtwo Y are going to be the flagship Pokemon for their respective sets. Now it's not news that Mewtwo EX is going to be in both sets, it's not news that each individual Mega will be in its own set. Uh, what is news is that they're all going to be psychic types. This is probably something that everybody expected, myself included, but it means a lot of information for anyone trying to guess what's going to happen next in these sets and what EX Pokemon, or what type of EX Pokemon they're going to reveal now. now. Given that there's a Mega Mewtwo X in one set and a Mega Mewtwo Y in the other set, I'm a very firm believer that there's going to be an additional Mega in each set as well. Of course, this is not really news if you think about it in terms of how the uh, how the sets have been released in Japan lately anyways. I think the last uh, booster box that you could open in Japanese that only had one available Mega Pokemon EX was X and Y Collection, uh, because X Collection had Venusaur and Y had Blastoise, you couldn't get anything else, because Xerneas, Eviltal, uh, Skarmory, and Molga, none of those had Megas. Uh, then you have Wild Blaze, that was Charizard Kangaskhan. Rising Fist was Lucario and Heracross. Uh, Gengar and Manectric in Phantom Gate. Uh, I kind of consider the Primals to be like Megas. They pretty much, you know, use the same way. So, uh, Tidal Storm, which had Gardevoir and Primal Kyogre. And then Primal Groudon and Agron in uh, Gaia, in Gaia Volcano. Then Emerald Break, of course, had Latios, Gallade, and Rayquaza. Bandit Ring had, what was it, Ampharos, Sceptile, and Tyranitar. So... Making a statement like there's going to be more than one Mega per set is really not all that important on its own. But when we got the reveal about the Zoroark break in Poke Beach and on Twitter and all over the place eventually a couple of days ago, there was a really important piece of information that people didn't really catch. I'm sure people noticed it, but they didn't really understand the implications of it. Uh, the break cards, those lovely Zoroark and whatever other cards are going to be, those are double rares. They're not single rares, they're not like holographic cards or regular EXs. They're not secret rares, they're not ultra rares, they're double rares. And you would think that when they're presenting a new mechanic like the break mechanic in a new set, they're not going to just have one break card available per booster box. It doesn't necessarily mean that you would get more than one per booster box, but I would imagine that the set list would have more than one. Therefore, my predictions for each of these sets is that each booster box's set list is going to have two break cards, two Mega Pokemon EX, and four EXs. I highly doubt that a new set, and especially the way that EXs are better have been going with their set lists, I highly, highly doubt that the only Mega you could pull from either booster box is going to be some form of Mewtwo. I really don't think that's going to happen. I really think they're going to supplement with an extra Mega Pokemon EX in each set. But where those are double rares, and the break cards are double rares as well, 
that's where I think you're going to get a lot of meat on these sets. So I want to talk about my predictions for those. Well, obviously that means that there's going to be a total of 8 EXs, 4 Megas, and 4 Break cards if my predictions are correct. Now, much less likely is that my predictions for what actual cards will be used will be correct. But I wanted to, in my predictions, get a nice mix between a bunch of different generations and get a nice mix as to which typings you'll likely see in these sets. So my first prediction for an EX card, because I think that they're probably going to reprint a couple of cards, and I'd like to see them go a little bit further back, reprinting EXs that maybe haven't seen one in a while, cards that were neglected a little bit in Legendary Shine Collection, probably because they weren't in the movie, if I had to guess because I don't watch the movies. So my predictions for two reprinted EX cards that will appear in X and Y8, obviously with new artwork, new attacks, just not a new choice of a Pokemon. My guesses are Genesect and Terrakion. We really haven't seen them much in the TCG lately, and I think this would be a nice time to revive them. I don't have the pipe dream that they're going to do all new Pokemon the rest of the way through, just because it's not the way the Pokemon works. They tend to not like variety, and they tend to not go crazy over the idea of, I don't know, making money, which is where my third EX prediction comes in handy. I think they might make a Sylveon EX in either Blue Shock or Red Flash. My fourth and final regular EX prediction is a Ditto EX. I was looking through, I think they're going to go with another normal type, I'm not really seeing them going with another normal Mega right away, so my guess is that they're going to go Terrakion, Genesect, Sylveon, and Ditto for the four available EXs in X and Y8 that do not have Mega Evolutions. Now obviously we know about Me uh, Mega Mewtwo X and Mega Mewtwo Y, so I wanted to set out to select two other Mega Pokemon EX. Obviously they will have EXs as well, but I wanted to choose typing that I thought would really help to round out the look of the set. So my choices for what I think they'll do for Mega EXs in X and Y8 to supplement the two Mewtwo's is I think they're going to go Mega Scizor EX and Mega Banet EX. Those are going to be my two guesses. If Banet happened to disappear from that, I think they might go Mega Sableye or something like that, but Banette is going to be my choice for the time being. I think those would really look nice in the set. I think it would give you a different, a different look as to what type of Pokemon would be present. Kind of would supplement the typings that I've already selected in EX cards, and overall would look pretty nice. But that's just me, of course. As far as the break cards are concerned, like I mentioned before, I think there's going to be a total of four. We already know about Zoroark, my other predictions, I'm only going to predict Stage 1 Pokemon. It's supposed to be called the Break Evolution Mechanic for a reason. I highly doubt they're going to go with Stage 2 Pokemon that you're also going to evolve on top of that. The format is just too fast. EX is straight too quickly. They're too strong. I feel like having an extra evolution on top of a Stage 2 is just not going to be all that viable. So, I predicted different typings and some different generations for my break cards. Obviously Zoroark is confirmed to be in it already. My other three choices for potential break cards are Arcanine, Dawnfan, and Milotic. I think all three of these would be really nice for the set. I think they would provide some excellent artwork, and I'd really like to see them continue to mix up their choices of typing and choose some interesting Pokemon that can really get us excited about what kind of decisions they make and where they're trying to take the TCG. Because ultimately it doesn't really matter if you're a player what cards are on the front as long as the attacks are the same, as long as the format is balanced, it doesn't really matter what Pokemon is used, but as a collector I want variety, I want them to bring something new to the table, I want them to appreciate Pokemon that aren't legendary Pokemon. I want them to do something new that can get me excited about where they have taken their Pokedex over the course of however many years it is that Pokemon have been coming out for. I would love to see them continue to offer this level of variety, and that's why my selections for new EXs are Terrakion, Genesect, Sylveon, and Ditto. My selections for Mega Pokemon EX are Scizor and Banette, and my three new selections for break cards are Arcanine, Dawnfan, and Milotic. 
I would love to get some genuine discussion going on this before they start revealing cards. So if you like my choices, if you don't like my choices, if you have some ideas for what you would like to see in the upcoming Blue Shock and Red Flash sets, please, please, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to talk to you guys about this and see what you would like to do. Are you more excited to wait for a breakthrough in November? Are you really, really amped for these sets? How about what do you think of the fact that there's only 59 cards in each set? That was a little surprising and a little disappointing to me. I would have thought they would have gone closer to 70, which is where they had the X and Y5 sets. I think the sets are going to be a little bit smaller, and that might constrict it a little bit, but overall that might be a good thing for people who are looking to collect Breakthrough, because that doesn't mean that the set is going to be this out-of-control monster that Primal Clash was, or maybe you're into that kind of stuff. I won't know unless you go to the comment section below and tell me what you think of the information that's been released, what you think of my predictions, and what your predictions might be as well. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and I hope to be sparking some genuine discussion and talking to you guys about what the potential for X and Y8 is going to be. I'm really excited. I really want them to come through and do something great. I think they have the opportunity. I just want to see them follow through. So thanks again for watching, and keep your fingers crossed for Suicune EX or an Evolution set, but given the fact that they've never done it before, why am I going to predict it now? Anyways, that does it for me. I'll talk to you guys soon.